King baby is another term for an emotionally stunted man who's extremely immature. This is a term that my friend Mel Hamlet came up with, and I'm going to tag her below. King babies are the type of men who their wives and their children have to tiptoe around them and walk on eggshells in their house. These are the type of men who you can't get to go to Disney World or to take family pictures. They weaponize their moodiness with their family to get out of doing things. They ruin most holidays and special occasions. They probably believe in traditional roles and do little to contribute with the house while wanting all the praise for being a provider and a man, even if your mom goes 50-50 and does all the work and he contributes nothing. Another sign of a king baby is if he loves using money to control people. And when it comes to holidays like Mother's Day, he's like, not my mom, and pretty much leaves the kids to do everything. And if he has the audacity, which king babies usually do because they have literally no perspective, They'll expect a lot on their special days. And if these men got married today, they probably wouldn't have their wives long. If this sounds like your dad, peace be with you. And if you're unfortunately still living with one of these men, I'm sorry, but you've got a lot to unpack in therapy. I wanted to talk about these men because I have a lot of experience with them and I am well equipped to talk about the subject. My dad, like many, would weaponize his mood and terrorize the entire family, specifically on special occasions. For instance, for my brother's graduation day, which was a really big deal in our family, my dad decided to put on the worst mood ever. And on days when we have special occasions that he's supposed to participate in, which is few and far between because from experience, we already know that he's going to cop an attitude for any day or holiday that isn't focused solely on him. And so it starts early in the morning. He typically is an early riser and has his coffee. But on special days, like my brother's graduation, especially one that involves him driving somewhere or having things that he has to do, most likely he's not going to wake up in time. And then say if he does wake up in time, then he'll stay up and watch TV and kind of like waste away important time in the morning. Then if you talk to him, he will be in the worst mood, copying an attitude and wanting to pretty much pick a fight over any little thing. So it's best to just avoid him altogether. So at this point, by the time, you know, he gets ready and we need to take off, he's going to be delayed or he's not going to be wearing the right clothes. And then the second that we step out of the house, he drives so slow under the speed limit, guaranteed pretty much any time. So then by the time we get to the event, we're actually staying in like a special box because my mom worked for the university for years. So, you know, we have this beautiful spread. We're with all of our friends and family, my mom's colleagues that she's worked with for years, celebrating this really large achievement for my brother. And my dad cannot be bothered to talk to anybody. And so here I am sitting in the corner trying to entertain him, literally like babying him like a toddler, like, oh, look at these different settings in my phone. Let's take some selfies. And he's just in just this horrible mood, which doesn't make sense because my parents worked really hard to get my brother to to the point of graduating. So I don't understand why he was acting this way, but he he just does. And that's a king baby for you. Like you can't really make sense of it. Another story that I told on my TikTok was how on Christmas morning, when I was younger, my mom bought my dad his first Lazy Boy. And as soon as he saw it, y'all, he pitched a fit, the biggest fit on Christmas morning, stormed out of the house. Something about he was upset about my mom spending the money, even though she spent her money, but whatever, y'all. He sat in that chair and never got out of that chair for like 10 years until he had to buy a new one. He loved that chair so much he wouldn't let anybody sit in it but you would not know the case based off of how he was acting at the moment. And so what I've experienced growing up living with a king baby is part of the reason why I do the content that I do, because I would love for more women and young girls to understand what they're dealing with and what they're living with, because the sooner that you understand it, the sooner you can stop putting your energy into people like this. Because with king babies like narcissists, it doesn't matter how much you give, it's never going to be enough. So a man-child is a little bit different from a king baby in my opinion. There's some key differences and similarities, but here's kind of how I view things. So a king baby gives more grumpy, entitled boomer energy, while a man-child is more of like a failure to launch. And something that they both lack is emotional maturity. 
Like a man child may constantly depend on family members in order to have housing. And this would typically be an involuntary situation. A king baby may have full-time employment, but they use that to lord over their families that they are protectors and providers. And let's be real, the main thing that's being protected and provided for is their ego. Their masculinity is fragile. That's why they always need the reinforcement from the people around them that they're a real man. Even though, like I said, your mom may do more work in the house and she may have a full-time job and be more successful than that man. But you could never bring that up to him because we always have to protect the king baby's feelings. Can't upset the king baby and his moods. And a king baby would typically have slightly more audacity than a man child. Though please keep in mind, a lot of these traits overlap. Because a king baby could also be a totally broke man who still wants to rule the house and make it everyone's job to make him feel like a man. If you need reassurance that you're a man, newsflash, you're clearly not. But most importantly, as someone mentioned here, a king baby demands to be treated like a king all the time, but they act like a baby. A king baby is indeed just a male narcissist. King babies think that they're the center of the universe. They are kings in the sense that they are narcissistic and boss others around. They are also babies in the sense that they long for immediate gratification. An infant or toddler can expect others to meet their needs quickly, which explains the nature of their extreme moodiness. When you mix their misogyny with their laziness and entitlement, it's just chef's kiss of peak male audacity. If this sounds like your dad, be careful of who you choose for a long-term partner. Because even though you try to choose someone that's not like your dad, your baseline for what you view as love is still extremely low. When men say pick better, or we wonder how women could put up with so much. Why some women can be such doormats. This is why. Because this dynamic is what a lot of women witnessed in the home. To the point where it's just normalized by society. And I'm starting to think that maybe the king babies of the world are the rule, not the exception. I'm at work and I have to be quiet because my mom works with me. But literally my dad didn't do a single thing for Mother's Day. Did not buy her flowers, didn't buy her gift, didn't cook, didn't clean. It was all me and my sister and we're throwing my mom a surprise birthday party. And when my sister and I emailed him about whether or not he'd like to help, this was his response. I did not know turning 65 was a big deal, which warrants a party. Who knew? I have no experience planning a party. Bro, didn't you get married? What do you mean no experience? Anyways, I do not have the time or the energy to plan anything. I'm not sure if I will get days off. I do not have the time to clean or prepare this house for multiple guests. So does that mean we have to rent a facility? Then does it need to be catered? Do we need to purchase all the drinks and alcohol? The more I think about this the bigger it gets and the more stressed i'm getting and the more irritating it is why can't we simply have dinner reservations somewhere with the family on a saturday in napa which will eliminate all the stress and headaches for everyone though i might not be able to go his only day off is a sunday so i don't know why he said on a saturday <laughs> i don't i don't get that so i do not have the time or energy to do anything related to a party or some other big event that i might not be able to attend anyway so with everybody's different schedules it will be difficult to plan anything i'll let you know now do not have a party for me for anything ever dad so my sister and i have literally paid for everything and planned everything and we even planned the party for his only day off so he could attend if he wants to and he's not even coming i love it once again thank you all for liking and subscribing please make sure to click the bell as well so that you can get notifications as soon as i post new content and if you'd like to support my channel, I put my Venmo and my PayPal here. Thanks again.